Praise God. Praise God. I hope King Jesus is filling your cup full of peace and joy and fruits of the spirit. Amen. Hi, guys. Listen, God just wanted me. Uh, he put something on my heart the other day when I was playing with our little girl here. This is mine and my husband's pet. And uh, she's just a, a big bundle of joy. She's our chunk, chunk little girl. And we love her so much. And I was playing with her and God began to speak to me about some things. And he wanted me to share. This is Ibby. God picked her out for me, and also the Lord gave me her name. Her name is I-B-B-Y, Ibby, and in Spanish, it means beautiful. And um, in uh, Hebrew, it means devoted to God. Isn't that amazing? When he gave me her name that night, we we brought her home. I went. I was going to bed, and he's like, before you go to bed, look her name up, the meaning of her name. And so it, it's just so fitting. But um, Ibby here... Uh, uh, she's just an awesome hamster, man. She's like our little buddy. We love her so much. She's been a joy. She's about a year and a half. But um, the thing about Ibby, she can't see very well, guys. She, she, they don't, hamsters, uh, are per, they're not completely blind, but almost. They can't really see that well. So they rely on, um, they rely on um, noises. They rely on your voice. And as I was playing with her, say bye, Ibs. Here, honey, will you take her? Say bye, yes. Bye bye. Amen. Okay. Thank you. Um. Um. But what they rely on, right, is your voice and hear and hearing your voice, and that's what this video is about. And God began to speak to me, and He was like, "You know, Mary, uh, she trusts you because she knows your voice, and that's how I. Uh, that's how my people are going to trust me when they get to know my voice. And he was showing me how uh, when I first brought her home, she was freaked out and frantic because she didn't know us. She didn't know my voice. She didn't recognize me. And he he wanted me to explain to y'all that he's always speaking, guys. He's always speaking. But the, the, but the issue is, are we discerning his voice? So, so, so it's not a matter of uh, the Lord not speaking to us. It's a matter, are we hearing him? And are we discerning his voice? Are we sensitive? Now, what happened is, is Ibby, over time, she began to trust me because she began to know me. And the Lord was showing me, your hamster knows you now because she knows you, Mary, by your voice. And how do we get to know God's voice? Because uh, if we're not hearing God's voice, it's not because he's neglecting to speak. It's because we're not discerning his voice. Well, it's simply this, guys. We got to spend time with the Lord right? Hallelujah. Amen. We have to spend time with them. Just like I spend time with Ibby, the more time I spent with her, the more time I spoke to her, the more she heard my voice, the more she began to recognize who I was. And now she knows who I am by my voice. And um, she comes to me because she knows me because I spend time with her. Well, we, me and you, we got to do the same thing, guys. We've got to get in the presence of God. We got to worship. But the way you'll begin to discern his voice more clearly is his word. Get in his word. And I promise you, when you get into his word and ask the Holy Spirit to help you read his word, which is Jesus, because right, it says in John that Jesus is the word made flesh. You, the more you get in his word, the more you'll start to identify Holy Spirit's voice. The more you'll identify when the Lord is speaking to you. And so he gave me, um, oh, and he wanted me to tell you, like hamsters, they shove all this food in their mouth. Like Ibby shoves so much food in her mouth, like her cheeks are five times. She can hold five times the size of her whole, whole body. And uh, that's what Jesus wants us to do, right? He wants us to... Uh, he wants us to have our daily manna, right? Our daily manna is the word of God for our spirit man. Amen. And he gave me some scriptures to, to back this up. And that's what we need to do. We need to stuff ourselves with the word of God so we can hear the voice of God. He In John 10, it says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Amen. And Matthew 6, 9 through 13 Jesus even says, pray to the Father like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses and as we forgive those who trespass against us, right? 
Go look that up and read it. What is our daily bread, our daily manna from heaven to fill our spirit man? It's the word of God. Amen. And in Matthew 4, 4, and also in Deuteronomy 8, you can find this. Jesus says this in Matthew 4, 4, guys. Listen to this. He says, it is written, written, guys. Man shall not live by bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. So he wanted me to just encourage you guys with this, encourage you to get in the word because some of you are, you're feeling despair and you're feeling hopeless in hearing God. And it's that that he's not speaking to you. He is. You just aren't discerning. You're not hearing his voice. And he says, if you get in his word, you will increase your discernment. Your spiritual ears will open. They'll grow. And you'll you'll recognize the voice of the Holy Spirit. You'll be more and more sensitive to him, just like Ibby. As she became more and more sensitive of, of hearing my voice, she trusted me. But in order for my for Ibby to trust me and to know me by my voice, right? I had to spend time with her. I promise you, if you spend time in the presence of God, when you're reading the word, which is Jesus made flesh, when you're reading the Bible, you are in his presence, just like you're in his presence when you pray and when you worship him. Get in his word, and I promise you, you will begin as the months and months roll by, you'll begin to hear God more clearer and clearer. And he wanted me to end with this, Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now, faith is the substance, substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? Have faith, guys. Get in his word. Get in his presence. Um, it's just like Ibby. My hamster cannot really see me. They're almost completely blind, but she knows me by my voice because I spend time with her. And you will know the Lord and his voice the more you spend time with him. Amen. I love you, beloved. I hope this encouraged uh, you out there. And uh, I love you. If you have any prayers, put them down in, in the comments. And um, yeah, I just want to encourage you with that. Spend time with the Lord and I guarantee you'll begin to discern and recognize Jesus's voice. Hallelujah. I love you. Bye now until next time.